Welcome to Finance, Accounting and Banking. Types of Capital. Capital is what the owners of a business can claim from the business. It's also referred to as owner's claim or owner's equity. Capital takes various forms as illustrated below. One, opening or initial capital. Two, closing, ending or final capital. Three, working capital. Four, borrowed or loan capital. Five, capital owned or invested. And six, capital employed. We start with opening or initial capital. This is the capital at the beginning of an accounting period or that a business starts or opens a financial year with. And it is calculated from the closing capital. You deduct profits made over the year and additional investments brought within that accounting period. You also add drawings because they are part of the capital that we started with and you add losses if there are losses that were incurred. So OC stands for opening capital, then CC closing capital, P profit, D drawings, I investments and L losses. We look at an example. On 31st December 2001, Alex Madai Supermarket showed capital as 700,000 and the following information related to the year ending 31st December 2001. So drawings over that period were 40,000 shillings additional investments were 80,000 shillings, profit was 350,000 shillings, and loss was 50,000 shillings. So we look for opening capital. As we had said, opening capital is equal to closing capital less profits less additional investments, add drawings, and then add losses. So these are the figures, 700,000 as closing capital, less profits made, 350,000, less additional investments, 80,000. You add 40,000 for drawings for the year, and 50,000 for the losses that were incurred. And our opening capital we'll find out will be 360,000. <clears> we move to closing capital or final or ending capital. This is the capital at the end of an accounting period or that a business closes a financial year with, also called final capital. So, closing capital will be found or computed when you add profits and investments on the opening capital and then deduct drawings and losses. An example, on 1st of January 2001, Alex Madai Supermarket showed capital as 700,000 with the following information relating to that year that was ending on 31st December 2001. Drawings 40,000, investments 80,000, profits 350,000 and loss 50,000. So our closing capital will be 700,000 add 350,000 profit, add 
80,000 additional investments, deduct 40,000 drawings, and deduct 50,000 loss. And our closing capital will be 1 million and 40,000 shillings. We move to working capital. This is the capital needed to run the day-to-day -day business activities. It is therefore the resources available in a business that can be used to meet immediate obligations or needs. It is the relationship between the current assets and current liabilities or debts. So working capital is the relationship between current assets and current liabilities or short-term liabilities. So the more current assets we have than current liabilities, the higher chances of a business to run its affairs smoothly. And the lower or the less the current assets than current liabilities, the less the chances of a business to run its affairs and it may collapse. You look at borrowed or loan capital. This is capital that is loaned or borrowed from financial institutions. So it is a loan, it is borrowed. And these resources or finances that are brought into the business are the long-term loans or liabilities or and debentures. Those loans are obtained mainly for large-scale expansion or projects of the business. We move on to capital owned or invested. What you invest is what you own in the business. This is the portion the owners can claim from the business. Because they have invested it, they can ask for it. They own it. They own a portion of the business. So the portion one owns or has invested in the business. So capital owned or capital invested is made up of what the owners of the business have contributed to the business, likely in form of shares and or subscriptions, plus the profits, less drawings made during the year, and the losses made. So capital owned or capital invested is equal to investments plus profits, less drawings and less losses. Capital employed. This refers to the resources that have been provided by the owner together with resources that have been provided from long-term sources or long-term liabilities or long-term loans from banks. So. Capital employed is the capital invested or what is owned by the shareholders together with the long-term liabilities. All that is employed or brought into the business to be invested. Again, capital employed can be looked at as capital invested or capital owned plus the total liabilities less current liabilities. Total liabilities less current liabilities will arrive at long term liabilities. Capital employed can also be looked at as total assets less current liabilities. So the total assets, when you deduct current liabilities, you will remain with long-term liabilities. And those long-term liabilities will then be regarded as the capital that has been brought into the business 
to be invested in the long term. Again, the capital employed can be looked at as total fixed assets plus working capital. And working capital is current liabilities less uh, from um, deducted from current assets. Thank you. Subscribe and like my video my channel at Eddie Karis. Thank you. Edward Karuki Madenge, Karuki Eddie 2010 at gmail.com.